Thank you for joining us here on Dojo Live here at High Tech 2024. I've got with me Josh Bergen, CEO of CyberTech. Josh, thank you for your time today. Oh, thanks for having me. No, it's my pleasure. You know, first of all, I'd love to know the Josh story, a bit about your experience, your background, passion for the industry, and what's led up to CyberTech. All right. Well, one fun story I have specifically about High Tech and HFTP is I joined in the student chapter. So at my university, I, was, uh, I got to go into the HFTP student chapter. I've been with HFTP for well over, um, feels like 20 plus years now, I believe. Wow. And um, been coming to high tech and annual conference, regional conferences, monthly meetings ever since. It's been a part of my hospitality career journey for sure, since college. All right, oh, that's that's quite the journey. So let's talk a little bit about, little bit about CyberTech. Who are you? What's the problem that you're solving? So CyberTech was actually born out of our customers' request. So I work with Venza Group. You've probably heard of them. Yeah. Um, and after canvassing high tech and talking with our customers, and they said they had some very specific technology needs. Now they were out there in the different um, vendors and such, but they really wanted a one-stop shop. So we created our sister company, CyberTech, and now we offer all of these beautiful cybersecurity services and firewall hardening and support desk and all that fun stuff. Thanks right. to our customers for asking. I think that's a key that we hear a lot on Dojo Live on their regular shows here at High Tech for sure is listen to your comfort customers, make sure that you're actually covering a need that exists and not one that you just think should exist, right? I, I think that, that's spectacular. You know, there's a couple priorities I've been hearing of a lot, a lot about lately. AI being one of them, Gen, I, Gen AI in particular, data, cloud, which one of those are you prioritizing at CyberTech or none of those? So ironically, I would say none of them is a priority per se. But however, a lot of our security tools and our security vendors are helping us prioritize that. Um, and what's happening Cyber, uh, is... Security breach. <laughs> yeah, security breach. So what's happening is um, because of all of the threats are getting smarter, our tools have to be smarter okay, to okay. detect them. So the AI and the things like that are built within our support services and within the tools that are looking constantly for threats that are coming. Okay, that is extremely interesting. Let's let's talk about what you've seen. I you've probably been tied to the booth a bit throughout high tech this year, um, and your 20, 20 plus high techs. I don't know, um, but anything that's kind of caught your eye. What's what's special about twenty twenty four? Uh, my biggest my biggest shift over all these years has been the obvious increase of technology, the increase of devices that are being connected to networks. I mean, you probably have an IP-based toaster now, you know, that's getting hooked to some sort of network. That could, that could be one of those examples of stop. It's not a need. <laughs> right, right. So our biggest threat out there um, would be all of these things on the network. But ironically, I don't think that's the biggest threat. The number one threat is the human interface. And that's probably been a common theme is we can have all these great security tools. Social engineering. One click from the wrong person doing the wrong thing, you open the floodgates wide open. But we need to protect on every angle, every front. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, final question. Future. The future of travel, hospitality, tech. What is it in one word? Complicated. <laughs> it's very right. complicated. Explain. Well, I think it's making sure that all of the systems get to talk to each other. And also, um, I'm a big traveler. Just got back from, from Hawaii on Aloha. this weekend. Um, but it's also being tech disenabled, being able to disconnect. Um, so we're seeing those two extremes now from being totally immersed in technology, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. robotics, AI, and then like the emergence of, well, I want to go glamping and I want to be off the grid. And then they right. go off the grid and use solar. They use, um, you know, Starlink. They're going off the grid, but more connected than ever while right. being off the grid. So it's a little conundrum there. It is. But we got to manage all those different aspects. You know, I, I enjoy that one. And I guess that's just human nature. Right. Complicated. It's complicated. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Josh, for joining us on Dojo Live. I hope you have an amazing High Tech 2024. Hopefully, we'll see you again here on the show. But absolutely, thank you much, and mahalo. <laughs> Bye for now.